Boom, Coach Pippen. Tulsa kickoff. We're in day two, actually. It's going to be a long day. Absolutely. It's going to be a long day. How's, uh, how's Lawrence Elite doing? We're not doing bad. I mean, we're, we're still a pretty young group for the most part, so uh -huh. trying to get some of those young guys, brought them down here. They have, some of them haven't been here before, so uh, good to kind of get them exposed to a little bit of stuff outside of the state. Hey, here's some... Here's a challenge to meet with, to try and set yourself amongst some of the best in the country, not just some of the best in the state. Do you try to bring anybody in the club down here, or do you kind of pick and choose who um, might come to this tournament? I, I honestly would like to see more of my guys actually coming down. We do got some, some more of our better kids, at least some of our better younger guys coming up here. But for the most part, uh, I, I haven't really went out to solicit the whole group and said, hey, we're all going down here as a team. Some of them are very young but have a lot of potential. I've even got some guys in the room that are like eight-year-olds that haven't ever wrestled a tournament before. They've been practicing for a year, yeah. practiced all summer, and still haven't wrestled a tournament. So some of those guys just want to get a few tournaments under their belt because they got a good group of eight and under kids. What do you look to get out of this tournament? So early in the year, but you know, one of the tougher ones. Uh, I think it's good for those kids, some of the kids that might be better in the state, um, to come down and say, hey, we still got a lot of work to do. Even yeah. though you've been wrestling the summer, you feel good in the room, it kind of uh, gives you a leveling bar where you're sitting at, what you need to work on. It's one thing when us coaches are saying, hey, this is what you need to work on, but whenever you get out there in a match and your stuff might work on some kids that are in smaller tournaments, but it doesn't work here, you're like, this is what I'm preaching, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just saw an example of it. You were just coaching a, a kid. I've only seen him win the, the tournaments in Kansas City, and I uh, had a, a tough loss there. What do you say to him? Uh, basically, like, hey, you can't quit wrestling. You know, you got to keep wrestling. Once again, if, you, if you're... If you're the, the big fish in a small pond, stuff can work that doesn't work when you're the small fish in the big pond. Yeah. You know, it, it all goes down to your basics. You know, I'm a I'm a big position guy. Once you gotta you gotta wrestle through the positions, wrestle through the positions, wrestle through the positions. You can't you can't be a one trick pony at bigger shows. Yeah. What uh what do you look for kids to get from the club when they move on to high school? Like what do, what do, they, what do you want them to take from the club? Uh, usually what I want to take is, hey, they got to have a good work ethic. They know what they're doing when they step in there. They have the right mindset. Um, I'm big on, on you know, both short-term, long-term goals. Well, you know, at the end of the day, we have our small goals of, hey, we want to be a state champ. We want to maybe win a Tulsa national title. But at the end of the day, those aren't our goals. Our goals are to win some state titles, being ready right when you're a freshman to be competing for a state championship. Uh, something I've always done and whenever I preach to these guys hey the goal here is to make you good at the end of the game you know you can teach them like I said earlier you can teach them kind of slick moves that are like one trick pony moves that might win you a lot of matches but if it's not going to make you win matches when you're in high school let's focus on the fundamentals it's kind of crazy you know the, the most basic stuff is what wins um, it's not it's not one trick pony stuff why do you why do you coach I love it. Yeah. I think I'm in my uh, 22nd or 23rd year coaching now. Um, you look I've had, like you're 25 years old, Pia. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I, I actually started coaching in 97, and um, I I have a blast doing it. I mean, yeah. Especially the relationships I've built along the way. I've got a lot of my guys in college right now. Um, it's nice seeing some of those guys compete for in Division One schools and doing real well there and uh, it, it just makes it feel good whenever the kids come back in and they still want to hang out with you they still want to come into the room and pass on, pass on that information the only bad thing is sometimes then they want to wrestle with me and, and pay it back for what I did to them when they were younger and uh, yeah. I have to I have to tap out and forfeit and say yeah go over there bang, bang on those guys not me yep, some young guys. <laughs> hey it's tough today man you got to focus on coaching but there's an awesome tournament going on in uh, in New York, every time I see you, uh, there's been some other uh, Bill Farrell topic. Any uh, predictions? Oh man, I was just looking at the brackets this morning uh, a little bit. Um, I think 60 kilos is loaded. I mean, insane. I mean, uh, you're going to see some tough matches. Some of those, some of those young guys that are uh, not quite yet there on the international level that have just graduated. Heck, there's one kid. I think he's a, a still freshman in high school or a freshman in college, and then. Uh, I know, like Josh Saunders, yeah. still a high school kid, wrestling out there, uh, and I think he had a pretty tough match, first round match lined up. 
Uh, so I think there's going to be some tough matches. Uh, I'm really excited about 60 kilos. I've always liked the smaller guys. Um, I had actually one of my uh, old wrestlers wrestled in Greco. Uh, wrestled Mango first round uh, yeah. yesterday. So she didn't pick up. had a good first yeah. had a good per first period in the match, and then didn't quite end up well. But um, he's kind of taking the Greco route, and uh, oh, yeah. I'm excited about that. You having fun? I absolutely have fun anytime around wrestling. Where can people find out more about Lawrence Lee? Come to our room, Monday through Thursday, 6.30 to 8. I got to get up there. Hope to you soon. Awesome. Right. I appreciate it. You got anything else you want to share? Work hard, kids.